what is up guys welcome back to the channel and thank you for clicking on today's video so right now here in ohio it's actually 91 degrees outside it is i guess it's, is it even the summertime yet i think it's still technically spring but it is hot here and it is humid but lately i've been getting smoothie king like at least once a week because it's like right by where i live and it's super convenient and you know we're trying to get looking good for the summertime you know gotta drop a little bit of the quarantine 15 if you guys know what i'm talking about but actually a buddy of mine big e suggested trying out this one called the daily warrior let me give you guys a little taste test oh that's pretty good it's pretty good it's kind of like a berry banana e type flavor so yeah anyways i was just picking this up for lunch but now we're gonna head back home i want to give you guys a little update on how the office is looking and kind of just talk to you guys about what's all going on so let's head back home all right guys so we are back still got my squeaky chair but we are back in the office here now first and foremost i just want to say Thank you guys for all the support on my recent videos. I've actually feel like this channel is really starting to get some traction and I've just really been feeling the love on all the videos lately. Um, and I kind of took the last week, last couple weeks kind of to just put out one or two videos and really just kind of reset my mind and I'm feeling really refreshed. So you guys are gonna see a lot of content probably in the next couple weeks. But yeah, I just wanted to say that because these last few videos are killing it. So you guys are the real MVP. Also, if you guys can see the shirt right here, I wear this brand a lot called Anaka Power. But this shirt right here is actually to support Black Lives Matter and I forget the exact organization but I know that all the proceeds go to that so that's really cool so you guys are going to see me rocking this shirt today. And while we're on the topic of awesome things and showing support, actually a buddy of mine, Franco, as of today he is the gaming creator on the rise for YouTube which is actually a really really big deal. Me and him connected I think like I don't know, three or four months back just through like a random Discord channel. And uh, we were at kind of like a similar level of channels and similar goals. He does a lot of like gaming and physical therapy things as well as like taste tests for supplements and everything. So if you guys enjoy my content, you'll definitely enjoy his and the production value is super high. So he is definitely going to blow the hell up. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of mention that real quick because it actually like just happened here. Uh, you guys should definitely show him some love. So I will link his channel down below and let's try to blow his channel up as much as possible. It's always cool to see other friends and creators absolutely kill it. It's super motivating and it's really exciting. But uh, yeah, I wanna talk to you guys about the office a little bit because it's changed a little bit since the last vlog. But at this point, the rest of the apartment is almost fully unpacked. And then the office is kind of like my last project. I started kind of moving things around a little bit. But I've been starting to test my different camera angles and kind of what I want my angles to be in here. So I wanna dial that stuff in before I start hanging stuff up on the walls. So that's kind of where we're at. But let me show you kind of what the office looks like right now. I think at least I've confirmed the layouts of the desks and the shelves and all that kind of stuff. All right guys, so this is kind of where I'm at right now. So it is still a mess and there are still boxes, but we've definitely made a little bit of progress. So I kind of just want to show you guys what at least the confirmed layout is of my office, at least for the time being, okay? So over here, I have the gaming setup and then I went with this smaller black tabletop from Ikea because honestly, for my gaming setup, I don't really need a huge desk. Now, one problem is all of the modem and cores and all that kind of stuff. So since I don't have an Alex drawer over here, I can't really hide those things so easy. So I need to either cable manage them up to the bottom of the desk, or maybe I can get something that I can kind of like hide them inside of. So I'm not sure on that. So that's kind of like one thing I still need to figure out, but that's kind of what the gaming setup looks like. The mini fridge, the most important thing in this office, I think it's gonna be right here. I think I am going to leave the two shelves kind of back here like this. And also this is, my actually life x tiles which it actually just has some painters tape on the side because that's how i move them so if you guys have checked out my last couple of videos it kind of gives this shelf actually kind of like a sweet glow so i don't know it kind of actually looks dope like that but it wasn't intentional but hey you know happy accidents they happen now this corner is a little empty right now i have something that i'm going to be getting for right here but i don't want to spoil that quite yet you guys will see that soon and then also when this light isn't in use i actually store 
lower that light over here and kind of just point it up so it just doesn't take up too much room in this office. Also got to have the dog bed over here for when Mocha's hanging out with me. This is my crappy Ikea chair that's squeaky that I need to replace, but I'm too scared to because of the puppy, but I really do need to replace that. So if you guys have a chair that you recommend, let me know in the comments below because please, I need a new one and I don't know what to get. Which brings us to our last part of this office right now, which is my kind of MacBook setup with my ultra wide, which by the way, I absolutely love my ultra wide and I have my MacBook over there and then I have my Mac Pro for work which I kind of just switch back and forth between whenever I need to. This is that butcher block tabletop that I got from Ikea that I showed you guys in one of my past vlogs. I love that tabletop and that thing is like sturdy wood. Like this thing is heavy. That thing is heavy duty but I really like that tabletop. And then I actually switched this up so I have two of the Alex drawers underneath instead of one of the saw horses on one side. I think it just looks a little bit cleaner for this setup. So remember this because this is the before and uh, yeah we'll kind of see how this space develops over time so i'm really excited about it and also if you want to see what a workspace looks like after you got done filming two videos yesterday this is it this is the raw real not cleaned up look my desk is usually a mess about 90 percent of the time but uh i don't know if it's not messy are you really working and you know something we haven't done on this channel in a little while is an unboxing and i got a few things in so let me show you guys what i got I got three things. Let's start with the biggest, obviously. More vans because uh, I wear a lot of vans and these are actually what I use for my gym shoes as well. So these are dope. These are like their sticker ones. So yeah, vans are some of my favorite shoes. Let me know in the comments below if you guys rock vans as well because I know I am not the only one out there. All right, next up, this one is heavy. Would you look at that? This is good because I really don't have any caffeinated drinks. But uh, no, for real, 3D came through with another little variety pack. I don't even need to say this anymore. 3D is like my favorite drink. I have a ridiculous amount of cans, but we got we got to fill up that fridge here in a minute too. Silver is my new favorite flavor. Uh, yeah, I might be sipping on one right now. Whoops. But uh, yeah, shout out to 3D, you guys rock. Then the last one here, I'm actually pretty excited about this. I think I know what this is. Okay, this might give it away. Nice little uh, blender bottle right there. Can you guys see what that says? So yeah, it's exactly what I thought it would be. Shout out to the homies over at Control for sending this stuff out. They just started coming out with a sample pack. If you guys haven't seen me talk about this product before, I actually did like a mock photo shoot for them. I guess not a mock photo shoot, a real photo shoot. I call it like a mini photo shoot in my last apartment. Uh, I think that video turned out really cool. So if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely go back and look. But basically they are a meal replacement company, similar to a protein powder, but it has more calories so they can actually call it a meal replacement, which I respect because it actually really gets on my nerves when a company calls a regular protein powder a meal replacement because really it's not enough calories and nutrients to be a full meal replacement. So kind of cool what these guys are doing. If I'm going to try out a new company or a new product, before I go and spend 40 or 50 bucks on a product and I get something and maybe I don't really like that flavor. Now I'm like a huge supplement guy. Like I've bought hundreds of tubs of pre-workouts, proteins, everything like that. And I can't tell you how many things I bought before and then I just don't like that flavor. So I have to either just give it away to someone else or just sits in the closet till basically I decide to throw it out because I just don't like that flavor. So it's just basically a serving of each of their three flavors. Cinnamon toast, which I already tried before, but these other two ones sound really good. Fruity flakes and then cocoa crunch. A lot of companies that make sample packs, they're usually in very cheap packaging, but these guys really put some thought and some work behind the design of these and you know what I feel like I gotta try one for the video so maybe we'll try out fruity flakes let's go try this out all right so the fruity flakes let's give this a shot and I have very high standards for any type of supplements in the flavor so this is gonna be 100% honest that's actually really good holy shit. like no lie Skylar all you guys over there control I haven't tried the chocolate one yet. Like I said, the cinnamon just isn't really for me. I don't really usually like cinnamon flavors, but this, this is probably the best tasting fruity cereal type supplement that I've had yet. And I've probably had like five to six different companies with a fruity cereal flavor. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like little fruity inclusions is what they're called in supplements. 
I will leave a link to their website in the description below if you guys want to check this stuff out for yourself. And I'm dead serious. I'm not even joking. That's really good. All right, it is time to do something I've been putting off here for a little while. I need to stock the mini fridge because you guys already know your boy needs his drinks when I am grinding all night long working on these videos. But no, real talk, time to stock this thing up. And luckily I have a couple cans of drinks laying around here. All right, I gotta fill out the top row, but that is a good looking fridge right there. Now this office is starting to look like an office at least a little bit, but something I've actually been working on a bit, which as I was saying, if you guys have checked out some of my last couple videos, I had an angle or a camera angle similar to this one. And one thing I'm trying to do in this office versus what I did in my last office is every time I was in that other office and I wanted to make a YouTube video, it was such a big setup. I had to move so many things. And one thing that I've noticed the more and more I've made these videos is if I can do anything that makes my life just a little bit easier or makes the actual process of making these videos a little bit easier, I need to take some steps to make that happen. So my goal with this office is to kind of have, I think, one main angle that I do a lot of my like sit down style videos with. And then obviously when I do vlogs, I'm gonna move around quite a bit. And that way, if I want to record something or I kind of get an idea to do something, it's not like a half hour or an hour setup. So that's something I'm kind of working on. One thing I guess I'm a little hesitant about with that is because I don't want my videos to get boring. Um, or at least, I don't know, like I guess you don't have to change your camera angle every single video for it to be interesting, but then maybe I can have another one where I'm kind of like over here maybe with like my MacBook setup in the background. So I don't know, we'll kind of have to mess around with that a little bit and see what things look like. And like I was saying, I think in my last vlog, my goal is to be able to put out one to two videos a week because I'll be in this apartment at least for a year. So if I can kind of dial in my look and just make the whole process of making videos easier, that's only gonna mean that I can make better content for you guys, I can make content more frequently, and I think it's just gonna help out a lot of things. So that's why I'm really kind of waiting to put stuff up on the walls and the lighting and everything, and especially the sound paneling, that's still something I wanna do in here because I want to make sure I figure out the angle before I do everything and then I'm gonna like regret it and want to change it. So over the next couple weeks and definitely over the next handful of videos, you guys will probably see me kind of trying out some different camera angles. So be sure to be on the lookout for that and let me know in the comments below of this video and in the future video, what you kind of think of those angles, if you like them, if you have any suggestions on how to make them a little bit better. So yeah, stay tuned for that, but that's definitely gonna be a work in progress, but we'll see. I think it's gonna be pretty beneficial. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on, some random thoughts here, but that's kind of what the situation is. So, you know what guys, I think I'm just gonna end the video right here because I think this vlog actually might be decently long already. But basically for the rest of the evening, I'm just going to get working on my next video, start working on some more of this stuff a little bit behind the scenes. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any feedback or any suggestions for any of those things that I talked about, please let me know in the comments below because I will be looking at all of them and taking everything into account. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you stuck around this long into the video, you you guys are the MVP and I really appreciate you. If you guys enjoyed today's video, drop it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel out. If you're new around here, consider hitting that sub button. I'd really appreciate it. You guys probably thought I was gonna do that normal intro. I don't know, maybe I need like a vlog outro, not intro, outro. You guys know what I'm saying. Listen, I'm going crazy, but if you guys watched this far, I really appreciate you. Things are happening, things are snowballing, and uh, I'm pretty excited for the future. So I appreciate you guys more than you even know, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.